You know, I'm always fascinated when I have a channeling experience. And thank goodness for modern technology where we can record it and study it. Anyways, the following clip is a message, a channeled message from my spirit guide, Rose. And I uh, hope you guys will enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Greetings, my dears. My name is Rose. Can you hear me? It is so wonderful that our medium here has allowed us to use his body to come through and speak to all of you. Do you know that when I was on the earth, I gave no care to spiritual thoughts. I thought only of things in the material world. I worried often, is my health grand enough? Do I have the finest of clothes? Well, I tell you, when I came here to the spiritual world, I realized that all of my material success was for nothing here. You may be very, very rich, very powerful and wealthy upon the earth, but unless you have developed spiritual qualities, it will gain you no access to the higher realms. In the spiritual world, it is character that counts for everything. Those who live upon the earth with a high spiritual value, they are the ones who have power here in our world. Those who live in the light, well on the earth, they are the ones who are most developed here in our world. In our world, thoughts are all powerful. And the more powerful your mind, the greater glory and the greater effect you will have here. When I first arrived in the spirit world, I saw beautiful mansions it is true that the streets here are paved with gold. When I inquired of Fletcher and the other guards, I said, How is it such glory and splendor here in this world? They responded and told me that it was the power of the mind to create one's reality that reigned supreme in the spirit world. I was very humbled, for my light there was rather dim, for I had not developed my soul. And so in time I have learned to use my mind, to meditate on the higher realities, to understand the greater truths. Here if one wishes to create a home, it is not done in the traditional way of sawing wood and mortaring bricks. It is done by the power of visualization, the power of the mind. All of you here tonight on earth would do great service to yourselves as well as to those in the spirit world to begin now to develop your own mind to develop your spiritual powers. You do not need to be as I was, vain and selfish, and leaving it all to the end. You'll we'll see none of us know when the end is, do we, my dear? I had no idea that night I went walking that it would be my last night upon the earth. Yet it was, and I found myself in the spirit world, not by my own wish and accord, but simply by a circumstance that led me there. How ill-prepared I was to face the world of spirit. You do not need to be as I was. Develop your mind now. Think of the higher things. As you think, so shall you be. For your mind, your very thoughts, will create your reality here 
and in the life to come. If you think always on the higher and the good, then this is your power that will develop in your spirit. And if that power develops in your spirit, you will be great in our world. Do not think that it is a waste of time to develop the spiritual self, the spiritual mind, for it will serve you upon the earth by giving you great insight as well as bringing you closer to our world. When one contemplates the spiritual world, there is great joy that bubbles up within one's heart, in one's mind and spirit, and each day you grow closer to the light. So allow your mind to carry you between the worlds. You will see many of us on the earth were limited my, at least I speak for myself, by my bodily conception, thinking that I only existed for the body. But the truth is that within the body there is the spirit. And now I am a spirit without a material body, without a fleshly body. And this is why we use mediums to come to speak to you. For we are energy we are light and we can move and animate material things. Were you to contemplate this each day, you would be more and more closer to our world. Do not fear that thinking upon spiritual things will remove you from your earthly life. It will in fact greatly enhance your earthly life and make you more powerful here and in the hereafter. I hope that you will meditate on these things and know that our world is very close. My name is Rose. Wow. Well, I'm always inspired when the spirit guides come and channel through me. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to experience more of messages from Rose and the other guides I channel, Fletcher and Orion, um, pick up my book, When Worlds Unite. It's a, it's a fascinating book. It's a book of channeled messages from the guides. And it tells where we've come from, where we're going, and what's in store for the future of the earth. I hope you'll uh, check it out. I'm going to put the link over here. In Lulu, uh, in the box, you can get it at lulu.com. And uh, if you lose the link, also go to my website and you can get it there. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Blessings.